Ding, 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 top of morning. Howdy, howdy, y'all. I'm Pinda Bell, and you know, lately, as I'm sitting alone in my closet whenever I record a video, one thought always crosses my mind. I need a new setup. Okay, maybe two thoughts cross my mind. I need an idea for a video. Well, you could make another tutorial on how to draw something. Or you could make a new animated intro. Or, you know, you could finally finish an old series that you haven't touched in over a year. That's it! A new series! That's right, I'm making a new series, and some of you may already know what it is from the title alone. However, some of you might not know what it is, and that's fine. I can explain it. Happily, I might add. The series, what we'll be doing is turning some favorite YouTubers into superheroes. My channel is heavily fan art based. I mean, I draw fan art of your OCs all the time, so why not draw people that I enjoy watching into superheroes? I figured that maybe if I draw some fan art about them, then maybe you can find them and enjoy their content too. Share the love, people. Share the love. And you know, I'm not against drawing your favorite YouTubers as superheroes either. If you want your favorite superhero drawn, just let me know in the comments below. Now, you may be wondering, what person am I going to draw this time? Well, my inquisitive friend, I'm drawing the man, the funniest Irishman that I know, Jacksepticeye, also known as Sean McLaughlin. Now let's not waste any more time with these boring explanations and get to the meat of the video. Okay, so we already got the sketch all set up here, so what we're doing now is inking this bad boy. Or should I say good boy, seeing as he's a superhero. Now, I felt like Jacksepticeye could have easily fit the villain role because of, well, anti-Septicai. But, you know, everyone's doing that. Not to mention, but he's such a happy guy who just wants to put smiles on people's faces. How could we turn him into a villain? Seriously, people. All this anti-Septicai art, fan art, beautiful, wonderful, and everyone loves seeing it, but you know... Maybe add a little bit of variety in there. <laughs> After all, he's the one who started Positive Mental Attitude, or PMA for short. He does so much charity that often suppresses all expectations and goals. I felt like he needed to be a superhero. Filled with the Irish powers! That's right, we have Captain Ireland over here. I had so many ideas for this guy in terms of powers and design that my mind was running around like crazy keeping up with all of it. So I did some research to find some Irish superheroes because I needed help with the costume. Turns out there are some heroes I never even knew were Irish, and I just might be one of the, surp the, one of the biggest superhero nerds you'll ever meet. I watch comic book documentaries for fun, and yet I didn't know that some of these superheroes were Irish or part Irish. It's kind of cool. For example, this might come as a shock to some of you, but Captain America is part Irish. No joke. His father is an Irish immigrant and his mother's American, and you know what? Captain America pays a good chunk of his patriotism to both his American heritage and his Irish heritage. Pretty cool, am I right? Well, I thought it was cool. Yet looking through all these superheroes, I felt like the designs didn't suit Captain Ireland. I wanted something that would suit his powers. Powers of sound. We all know by now that Jack is a pretty loud dude. So why not make that a part of his powers? Can you just imagine him yelling at the villains? Ding 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 top of morning! Or singing his now legendary meme time song that constantly gets stuck in my head. That would be an interesting way to get knocked out.
<laughs> Can you just imagine one of the villains he defeated sitting next to Red Skull, the baddest of the worst, and asking how he got defeated? <laughs> hey, Red Skull, how'd you get defeated? Oh, you'll see Captain America yet again foiled my plans by using this very complicated maneuver. Oh, cool. Sounds like you went down with dignity. Yeah. How about you? Uh, I got yelled at by an Irish man called Captain Ireland. He yelled some silly song about memes. <laughs> That would be awesome. I'd pay money to see that movie. But of course, you had better bring earplugs. <laughs> Honestly, that power seems obvious, right? Well, truth be told, I came up with a lot of powers that Jack could use, like luck powers and all that jazz. One of the most memorable ones was potato grenades. <laughs> Just throw it. <laughs> but ultimately, I settled with the ability to super scream, control sound, and his suit reflects that. I wanted a high-tech suit for him with the colors of the Irish flag. Mostly white, and it feels more high-tech with white, don't you think? Also, I gave him orange hair instead of green hair. <laughs> That's how Captain Ireland's design came to be. For backstory, what's his backstory? What is it? What is it? Well, I'm glad you asked. Jack Jacksepticeye was a popular YouTube gamer. He posted videos every day. People loved him. One day, he made a video that involved a character called Antiseptikai. Jack never thought that one day, his character would become real. He watched in horror as the character began banging against the computer screen, finally breaking it, and slowly crawling out inch by inch, murmuring with murderous intent. He lunged at Jack only to find out he couldn't kill his creator. And he figured out that his best source of revenge would be to go after the viewers. And he leapt back into the screen to go back after his victims. It was at that moment that Sean William McLaughlin became Captain Ireland, feeling responsible for the creation of Anti. He's now scurrying the earth for Anti and any other wrongdoers who want to harm others. And that's his backstory. I honestly had so much fun with the design and felt like he needed to be a pretty epic superhero just to show how much we appreciate him. If you're watching this, Jack, which I doubt it, but you know there's a possibility. Small one, but enough I need to say this. If you're watching this, Jack, we think you're awesome. We, we love the content that you make. All the meme times, all the gameplays, game let's play series. Recently, I think I've just finished the playlist with scary games. That's personally one of my favorites. <laughs> now, I highly recommend you go checking out his channel. Just, but just so you were warned, his channel I would consider to be PG-13 due to language. Just don't get angry with me or Jack when you find out about it. You were warned. <laughs> I think we're done with this drawing. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm crawling out of the closet that I call the Artist Cove, I just came to say, I hope you enjoyed the artwork and this video is coming to an end. But before you go, just before you go, if you're interested, I have an art contest that I'm hosting up on DeviantArt. If you have a profile, you could go ahead and check it out. It'd be really cool and you know, I'm hosting some pretty cool prizes, so, you know, you might just be picked. And another thing, you might as well watch me if you'd like, or at the very least keep an eye out on the forums, because that's where you can find the rules to my now most popular series, Draw on Your OCs. But that's it for that little bit of news. 
thank you for coming to watch my video. It means a lot to me that you came. You beautiful people. Hit that like button like it owed you money if you enjoyed the video. Click that subscribe button if you want to see more of my content that we all enjoy here in our community. Paint that bell to be notified of my videos. Stay artsy, my artist armada. And I'll see y'all later.